Hey, welcome back to Wolf Den Hobbies. Wolf here. Today, I'm bringing you a tale from the deep. I'll start with a story. So if the lights can dim, I'll begin. Thank you. So, deep in the woods, there is a small campground that sits by the water. Sources say that the camp has been abandoned for many years due to a high rate of missing persons. Many have attempted to investigate these occurrences, but never seem to find any clues. Little did they know, lurking deep in the lake was a rare type of fish. This fish with a mouth so full of sharp teeth waits for its next victim. All right, so for today's video, I'll be showing how I painted my murder fish base. I hope you enjoy. Let's dive in. So first we have our resin base. We're gonna go over it with our surface primer. I chose a nice dark primer. It's dark, it's like a green gray color. I love this primer. I pretty much am now using it for absolutely everything. I don't know why I'm fascinated with it, but it's just, it's awesome. As you notice, I do have some air bubbles in my airbrush because little did I know the front of my um, nozzle assembly wasn't on tight so yeah that's why that's happening so I fix it and get, you know, I get that to stop so that's a plus I go back over it make sure I get everything covered in this primer I do about two coats of primer and then I let it dry once it's dry we're gonna come in with some dark brown or dark tan. I guess dark tan would be dark brown. Huh, anyway, a dark brown sand color. And we're gonna spray over all the sand. Make sure we get good coverage everywhere. So with that done, we're gonna come in with a little bit, just a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go over pretty much everything that's out in the open. We're gonna to try to avoid everything that's close to the rocks and to that fallen stone slab or pillar, column, or whatever you wanna call that is down there near the bottom. And it's okay if you spray the crab. We'll come back and paint the crab later, you know? I mean, you'll be a happy little crab, right? Maybe? I don't know. All right, so we got that brown done. Now we're just gonna keep moving closer and closer to the light brown. We're mixing in some light tan into this and we're only gonna go over specific areas. Try to bring that sand color a little bit brighter. We're still avoiding as close as we can to the rocks and to that pillar. Oh, now we got a tan crab. Crab's tan. Are there tan crabs out in the ocean? I don't know, that's a good question. What color should I paint this crab? Probably blue. Blue's a good color for crabs, right? Well, you know, if, there, if there's a vote, let me know what you think is a good color for painting crabs. I just chose blue. Now I'm gonna come in with a mixture of tan and white, and I'm gonna dry brush over all the sand kind of using a crazy vigorous dry brush, not really caring exactly where I dry brush as long as it's on the sand and the crab at this point. We'll come back in and touch everything else up later. It's not too, too big of a deal at this point. Now each stage of dry brushing, I do bring that tan color a little bit lighter and the lighter I get, the softer brush pressure I use. Cool. Sweet. So with the sand done, we're going to come in and we're going to, well, I pre-painted and didn't record it, but I painted the column with like a red at the bottom and I built my colors up to like um, 
an ivory off-white kind of color so I didn't record that but right now I'm going over it with a dry brushing of like a lime green color to kind of imitate moss growing on the column and the rock I think I also painted the rock too when I didn't video it huh slacking a little bit And, and with this, you just kind of want to go crazy. I mean, moss doesn't really grow in a specific pattern. It just kind of grows, as far as I know. I mean, I'm not a marine biologist, so <laughs> don't quote me on that. I'm not a, you know, moss or algae expert. And, and look, I painted the crab blue. So I guess blue's the winner in this circumstances. Um, I also did the... Whatever those things are white. I can't think of the name of them, but they're white now. We're going through. We're putting a little bit of a wash down closest to the rocks and to that pillar just to make the sand darker. Wasn't thinking. It kind of got carried away near the rocks, near the crab, so you know, stuff happens. And that's when you get creative on the fly with modeling, which I will show you later in the video. Hey, look at that happy little blue crab. I think Bob Ross would be proud. Okay, now we're coming in with some washes. Uh, according to the pictures that I've seen, usually these are white with kind of like red tones in them. So that's what, that's what we're using. We're using some red wash, and we're going to wash them real well, and then we'll go back over them to kind of make sure that that red wash just stays in the crevices and cracks. And of course, I mean, you know, for a happy little crab, you gotta wash him too. You know, nothing makes crabs happier than being wet. Maybe. Never spoken to a crab. Couldn't tell you what makes him happy. Now here's the fun part. So, Yes, I messed up with the wash, but I got these plants and I went to the local pet store and I got an aquarium rock and I cut the plants off of them and I glued them to the base. Anytime you want to make your own custom bases, don't be scared to look outside the box. Pet stores, hobby store, anywhere. You'd be surprised with what you can find. Now, like I said earlier, I pre-painted my murder fish it was my first attempt at painting something in oil paints and I didn't really record it because I didn't know how it would go but I think it came out pretty cool uh-oh it's time to paint the base rim of course we're gonna paint it black black's definitely gonna make this base rim pop it's gonna look amazing once it's done always paint your base rims There you go. That's the spot. Better go back and get that. Okay, the base rim's done. All that's left is the mountain. Once we doll coat the base and we gloss coated the murder fish, glued the murder fish onto the base, and there you have it. There's my uh, spooky murder fish that lives in the bottom of a lake. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you back at the hobby desk. Alright, that wraps up the Terror from the Deep. I purchased the base from eBay, and the base is made by MicroArt Studios. Seeing all the pre-made bases out there, painted or unpainted, really can make the hobby a little bit easier. So, disclaimer, no crabs were harmed in the making of this video. Now, my Alaskan wolf brothers and sisters, however, do eat seafood, but this rural hometown wolf isn't a huge fan. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and the story. And until next time, I'll see you at the hobby desk.